getting ready for a 51st jokes in LA. In a little mirror here. And I don't know why we're matching. <laughs> <laughs> why did you dress? Because I'm wearing the maroon shirt with his like black pants. Oh, there you go. Black pants. And she's doing the same thing. Why are you doing that? I'm not wearing black pants. Hey, yeah, you are? I'm wearing a skirt. It's the same thing. Same really colors. Not. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, well, getting ready for a 51st Jokes of LA 2018. Getting ready, listening to the Skrillex set from 2015 and Ultra. I don't know why I'm pre-gaming, listening to EDM for this comedy show, but <laughs> it's going to be a good time. I'm excited. It's going to be fucking fun. So it's Sunday night, and the idea, in case you don't know what this is, is that these 50 comedians basically are going to be telling their first jokes of 2018. So they haven't performed yet of this year. And even more interesting, there's 50 of them, and I think it's about two hours. So each one of them probably only gets like maybe a couple minutes. So it's going to be very, very fast-paced. It's going to be... It's going to be pretty exhausting, not only, I think, for the comedians, but for the audience as well. So, I'm excited, though. It's going to be sweet. You excited? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, go away. Got the rules for the hotel. It's pretty packed right now. Getting ready for this event. It's going to be pretty sweet. So it's the morning after 51st Jokes of 2018, and I had a blast last night. I kind of lost my voice, and I'm pretty exhausted, so it was an insane night. But basically, obviously, recapping the entire event, what they had is, obviously, I explained this a little bit in the beginning. Obviously, they had 50 different comedians performing their first jokes of 2018. And I was curious because I wasn't sure if it was uh, almost like a competition, like they low-key were kind of competing with each other or not. But the good thing about this event that I really liked is that they first had the event and then the after party. Obviously, I just showed you a video of the after party. And I'm sorry that that shot was horrible. It was just all black because <laughs> we were in like the upstairs room at the Hollywood Roosevelt. And obviously, I wasn't going to put on my flash or on the light when filming the video because I thought that would have been really creepy because obviously all the comedians are just hanging out. And I was talking to some of them and what they said was is that, and I could kind of get this vibe, but I wasn't sure, is that they said, obviously, they all know each other. So for this event, instead of it being like a competition or something, they all were just kind of messing around with each other, were goofing off. Like, there were even a couple comedians that would do just, I think, inside jokes. You know, I guess jokes about inside jokes with the other comedians. It was just an overall fun event. You know, sometimes when I go to see stand-up comedy, and I've been to a lot of stand-up comedy events... I feel like sometimes it can get a little stressful. You can tell that the comedians are really trying super hard to make the crowd laugh. Obviously, that's the goal of the comedian. But I feel like for this event, it almost kind of reminded me of like in high school when you're sitting with all your friends in class and just goofing off. It kind of gave me that vibe where they were all there to have a ton of fun. It wasn't some stressful thing where they were really trying super hard to make the audience laugh as more as they were just trying to make everyone have a really good time and a really fun time. And also, like I said, after the event, they had the after party upstairs in the Roosevelt where all the comedians were hanging out. We're all, you know, having drinks, talking about the show, just kind of, you know, just networking. I don't know what to call it networking. That's a bit of like a business way to word it, but just kind of having fun with everyone. So definitely an awesome venue. I, I was way, I had a way better time than I thought I would. You're not saying I thought it was going to be bad, but I wasn't exactly too sure what to expect, like anything. And I had a blast. I'm definitely going to go in 2019. So I have a link list below to like the event. I guess if you want to see like any type of like recap from it. And I also have a link, or not a link, but a list of all the different comedians or some, or most of the comedians, because I think some were kind of special guests that just kind of showed up. But I have a list of, there's a lot of them, as you can imagine, around 50 different comedians that performed. All of them did amazing, so definitely check that out and everything. And cheers to 2018. That was definitely a great start for comedy for this year, especially here in LA. And cannot wait for this in 2019, you know. Definitely a really fun event and something I'm looking forward to now every year.